field. I don't have time to do anything in depth so I just want to put together a video and show you um, what I use to paint with and I'm no master painter by any stretch of the imagination. There's some pretty amazing uh, painter miniature painters out there and I watch a lot of their videos and I'm slowly learning but maybe it's interesting to see kind of where I, you know how, how I've evolved and continue to evolve and some of the things I want to try and couple of things I bought but haven't used yet. Um, so I guess the first thing is kind of where, what paints that I start out with is kind of this block of paints here. And I bought these at Michael's, which is I think a nationwide craft store. Um, I bought, honestly, I bought a lot of these on sale because I didn't know if I wanted to do this that much or not. And these are probably a couple bucks each and they're pretty, you know, there's a lot of paint in here. Sometimes they even go bad. Like they start to foul. Some of them have some strange smells to them. But um, they're not bad paints. In fact, this one I use a lot for wood. I've used it on my Japanese infantry. So they still come in handy. I'm familiar with their colors because I've been using them now for a year or two. So these are not bad for a couple bucks. And like I said, you get a lot of paint. There's a lot of colors. Those are acrylics. I also bought a set at the beginning of, of course, testers. These are probably familiar with, with anyone who's ever painted. Uh, these are a mix of acrylics and enamels. And I use these pretty frequently too. Less so nowadays, I think. I've kind of migrated over to Vallejo and other paints. But they still come in handy. Um, as I mentioned, right, so Vallejo, so there's a million colors of Vallejo paints and every time I go to the store I pick up another one because I get tired of painting the same browns on infantry, same with greens. Uh, flesh colors, I use probably three or four different colors for the flesh. Blacks, pretty basic. Reds, I've been picking up a couple more reds. They kind of all look the same there, and honestly, they look the same to me on infantry. These are kind of my two reds that I use. Um, problem with red is it's hard to cover. Like, these things don't cover well, so it takes several coats, and I don't dilute that much. I know a lot of people online I watch, they add water and dilute their paints a lot. Something I need to learn, probably. I still do it out of the bottle, pretty much, or... I don't um, thin them that much. It's probably why my stuff doesn't look that great, but something I'm learning too is to thin the paints. But those are the two primary reds I use. And again, I picked up a couple of these other ones. Blues and purples, since I'm, you know, those don't come in that often. I use some of these blues for the French. And I don't blend my paints that much because I can never remember how I blended stuff. So I try to use it just straight out of the bottle. If I do mix something, like my British base I mixed, um, I learned a lesson here, I, I write stuff, British base two to one. And then on one of these other ones, I think I have British base, you know, the other half of it. So you can see here, I tend to write whatever I use things for on, on the paint bottle. I should keep better track of it, like in a spreadsheet or something, but I'm kind of lazy, so I just write things on there. Uh, Anzac boots, Soviet gun stock. Because I might have to come back in a year or so and paint things. So I tend to write on there. Um, and then I, yeah, so I picked up a couple blues recently, a purple, because I'm painting some Vikings. And that's a royal color, so I wanted to paint a king with some purple. Washes, I'm starting to get into a little bit more. Um, what else do I have here? So I have a acrylic thinner that I got, I think with a, with a, uh, kit, of course a Dremel for magnets and etc. I have a ton of spray paints too. I haven't put them all out, out here. Um, I guess it's Tamaya. I use a lot of their aircraft colors for the aircraft sculpts. 
but I also use like Rust-Oleums and stuff you just find at Home Depot and I use those for my bases because I just spray paint those and occasionally I use them for other things but not not very often no 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 minis or anything more like accessory items um, what else? I just bought these paints. I really haven't used them that much. Colors of War. I found them online, so I thought I'd try them. And I just went to a local hobby store in Mountain View, California, over here, called Game Castle, and they have aisles of paint, different brands, just a whole selection that kind of blows you away. Um, what else? These these metals are pretty great. I found the forgot. Probably ordered on the line. Order these online, and because I'm painting more chain mail and metal and things like that, so gold. It's not a color you get to use much in World War II sculpts, but um, these are cool colors to use when you can find them. Uh, what else here? I've got these. This is another brand of testers, Model Masters. I use these a lot for aircraft British aircraft I'm trying to find one that I wrote on the bottom bottom of and I use their German gray for the uniform German uniforms so like these these come from a model master uh, paint I think RAF sky something like that what else do you have in here um, army painter has a great selection of paints too I like their primer and I like their uh, varnish when I'm done painting everything I you know, coat it with uh, their varnish. I used to use the the Tamaya, but I like this better. I like their primer better too. Uh, what else? Uh, uh, what are these? These are for putting bases. So again, like these Vikings, I'm starting to put different bases. So I've been starting to order some different things to mess around with. Of course, different kinds of glue. I'm kind of glue agnostic, whatever's handy. Not really, don't really care that much for in terms of super glues. These stickers back here I bought, I thought I would use them on airplanes, but they're a pain to work with, so I don't use those that often. There's some guitar string for different purposes. And these hole punches are great. Found these, found this thing, or maybe I saw it online, someone mentioned it. And it's how I do these labels, print them, punch them out, stick them on. This has been a lifesaver because I was trying to print on half inch circle labels and getting that aligned was a nightmare. So that has been a great help. In terms of what I use for like a palette, I just use this crappy little thing that came along with the testers. Of course, needle nose, here's the, here's a magnifying glass I use with the light. It's pretty cheap, bought it at Michael's for probably 20 bucks. Um, I should probably upgrade to something better, but it works for now. Some different, I just bought these clippers to clip off flash, uh, different paint brush, paint brushes. I think these are army painter. Yeah, these, this is a great, I really like that brush. And I just started trying this one. I'm not sure the name on it. Maybe you can read it better than I can. Magnets, okay, what else? Oh yeah, I've got my, this little kit I use over here. Sorry if I scroll too fast. But I've got all my magnets from K, K and L magnets, or whatever it is, yeah, K and J magnets. Another order of those. I don't use these things that much, I thought I would. Just paint brushes, etc. some saws, drill bits. Here's some wire that I use for different things. I use these, this wire for transports, for British transports, and this is the wire I also use to mount my minis, so I cut the bases off and remount them. This is graphite, and I use that. I used that for this guy, for his, uh, I cut his gun off. It's stuck on a flag. This graphite's great, but you, you need to use a Dremel grinder to cut it, otherwise it fractures. And something I've been watching a lot online but haven't tried yet is a wet palette. So I need to get into this. It's supposed to 
revolutionize your painting. But I haven't gotten there yet because I'm lazy and I still just paint out of the cap or put it on a piece of cardboard or whatever and paint off that. But I'm anxious to, to see how this works. It's supposed to let your paint, you know, you put it in here and it stays wet for days, maybe longer. Again, it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be the bomb. We'll see. Uh, what else? I think that pretty much covers it. Um, hope you found this somewhat informative. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm always open to suggestions. And I'll probably keep buying paints because there's about a million different colors out there. All right. Uh, thanks for watching. And talk to you soon.